Hey everyone, welcome to this video of dimensioning of engineering drawings as per the ANSI standards. In this video, we will be looking at all the different kinds of uh, schemes that are used to provide the dimensions on a drawing sheet. And also we will be looking at the basic tolerances. So starting off with the dimensions, we will be looking at how to create the chamfer dimensions baseline or the ordinate dimensions and the chain dimensions also. In the next example, uh, we will first take a look at how to create a whole table on the engineering drawing. And also we will be looking at how to use a baseline dimensioning scheme uh, for this solid model. So as you can see on the drawing sheet, we have placed a front view, uh, the top view, and the right view, which is a sectional view. And the section is taken uh, at this location using the vertical line uh, as the AA, and the sectional cut line passes through the uh, axis of the uh, of these two holes here. So I'm going to go to the SolidWorks and let's start working on um, this part file. So we will go with make drawing from this part. We can choose the dimension or the drawing sheet and then we can place the front view, the top view. Remember we need to create a sectional cut on the right side so I'm not going to place any right view here. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, get rid of this call out because we will be using a whole table to uh, you know use the dimensions for this hole. Uh, while we are here, it's uh, important thing that I want to point it out to you is that whenever we use a leader line, as we will be looking at in the next couple of slides, is that the leader line should be pointed towards the center of the hole that or you know that you are trying to create the dimension. So the dimension should never be placed something like this as it is not pointing towards the center of that uh, arc or the circle but it should always be uh, pointed uh, towards the center something like this. So this is the acceptable way of uh, dimensioning using a leader line uh, but certainly not something like this where it is not pointed towards the center. So we will come back to it uh, a little bit later on, but first let me get rid of this dimension by clicking and deleting it. Uh, the next thing that we will be doing is create a hidden lines visible for the front view. And also while in the annotation tab, I will use a center line, select the view. And you know, if it uh, doesn't work, uh, never mind, we can always uh, use the center line uh, by clicking on those two lines. All right, so now we will be first creating a sectional view. So go to view layout, click on the sectional view, use a vertical cutting line, and select this vertical line that passes through the, uh, you know, the axis of uh, these holes click on the check mark and then just move the cursor to the right so that uh, the sectional view can be created. Again, I'm going to get rid of this call out. And once we have these three views in place, I'm going to insert the isometric view. So again, uh, we can get click on the projected view and click on the front view and move the cursor 45 degrees to the right and I'm going to use uh, hidden lines removed option for for that particular view click OK and slightly move uh, we can always adjust the scale for uh, the drawing sheet that we are using and I'm going to slightly move it downwards because we need to still add the whole tables here. First, uh, let's go to the 
insert tables whole table you can also find this option of whole table on your annotations tab by clicking on tables and then the whole table once you click on the whole table we need to first select the view where we want to uh, define the whole dimensions for that particular view so you can choose that by using the x-axis or y-axis or just simply click on a vertex to define the origin so if I click on this vertex or this vertex it really doesn't matter as long as uh, you're defining the locations for those holes so click on the holes click on that vertex you're going to notice uh, the x and y axis are created but if you don't want to use that vertex since the dimensions are going to be created in the negative x and negative y for those holes uh, we can click on the vertex that is at the bottom lower corner and then for the edges and faces i'm going to click on these two holes and then click on the check mark so the whole table can be generated once we put the whole table we can notice that with reference to this x and y the dimensions for uh, the locations are provided in that whole table and also the numbers are provided a or the letters are assigned a1 and a2 for these holes x and y locations are also generated and the whole type is automatically generated so the dimensions for the clear hole and then what kind of the uh, tapping is used uh, as m12 by 1.25 6h and the depth is 40 so all the details of that hole including its location and also the type of the hole and then how much is the extent of the hole uh, is all given in the whole table so we don't need to provide those dimensions in any of the other views and you can keep the drawing neat and clean now let's take a look at the baseline dimension so i'm going to click on this drop down arrow under the smart dimension we can always use the smart dimension to manually create the dimensions or we can use the horizontal or vertical dimension as per the need then if we click on the baseline dimension what it does is that the dimensions are created with respect to a particular reference uh, datum line with respect to that datum plane so if i'm going to select this horizontal line as my reference line for generating the baseline dimensions all you have to do is start clicking the lines next to them and the dimensions are created as per the baseline format remember all the dimensions are clubbed together so the idea behind the baseline dimension is that we need to select a baseline and with reference to which all the dimensions uh, are in that particular direction are provided with reference to that uh, baseline okay so the ordinate dimension is also similar to the baseline dimension only thing is that the representation is different so if I click on the ordinate dimension and click on the reference line it indicates that with zero then as you start clicking the next line the dimensions are placed automatically in a different uh, way of representing it but still this method is also based on uh, first generating or deciding the reference line which is uh, similar to the baseline dimensioning scheme it creates a big difference in terms of assigning the tolerances as what kind of dimensioning scheme that we use although there is no chain dimensioning scheme provided here in that case we have to manually assign the dimensions for example the chain dimensions will go uh, you know just as the name suggests in form of a chain and that is how we can create the chain dimensions so all the chain dimensions are connected to each other in form of a chain all right so with that initial practice 
Uh, now let's take a look at the terminology and conventions um, as per the ANSI standards uh, while we dimension uh, an engineering drawing. So we have looked at the different types of dimensions as we can provide on a drawing sheet where we looked at uh, how to create the baseline dimension and ordinary ordinate dimensions as well as the chain dimensions and also the whole table. So now uh, let's move ahead and let's uh, take a look at the terminology and the conventions followed by the NC standards. The extensions lines are those which extend away from the objects and allow the dimensions to be located off the surface of an object. So these are the extension lines and also you can notice that there is a gap between the extension line and the dimension line. While the dimension lines are those which are located between the extension lines ending with the arrowhead and the numerical value is placed in between maybe using different formats but the general idea is that uh, the dimension lines are these ones uh, which are located between the uh, extension lines. So there are different terminologies used for different types of lines uh, for the drawing. What are the leader lines? As per the ANSI standards, uh, the lines which are drawn at angle, not horizontal or verticals, are uh, used uh, as the leader lines uh, for dimensioning specific shapes, uh, for example, holes. So this is an example of a leader line that starts uh, with uh, the numerical value on one end and it ends with an arrowhead towards the uh, geometry for which we're trying to assign the dimension. The next are the linear and angular dimensions where it's pretty much self-explanatory that the dimensions that define the straight line distance are the linear dimensions and the one that define uh, the value in degrees between the two straight lines are the uh, angular dimensions. The dimension lines must be evenly spaced. For example, here uh, you can see that uh, there is a uh, even spacing between the two dimension lines and also the numerical value which is located uh, in between these dimension lines is also placed centrally. Uh, the overall idea is that there should be a neat and clean appearance on your uh, drawing. So while representing the dimension for let's say overall length, uh, it it is not a good idea to provide the dimensions you know somewhere uh, on this uh, on, on one corner or um, you know it, the value is you know basically placed underneath that dimension line so it sh you know, should always be located centrally and also as uh, I said in the previous slide that there should be a noticeable gap between the extension line and the edge of the part the leader lines are used to define the holes which must be positioned in such a way that the arrowhead points towards the uh, center and we talked about that while doing the example one and also one can use the center lines as the extension lines as shown in this figure here uh, to uh, make use uh, for the dimensioning the part. So the you know, general idea is that uh, we need to align the dimension lines whenever possible so that it gives a drawing a very neat and uh, organized appearance. And that's basically the whole point that the drawing is used to convey uh, the information to someone else. And so it needs to be as clean and neat, uh, neat and clean as possible and organized in appearance, must include all the required dimensions so that uh, the model can be recreated or fabricated based on the drawings. Typical errors that can be avoided is uh, that we cannot place the shorter dimensions farther from the longer dimensions. So for example, if there is a, you know, some feature uh, that is um, having uh, some slots or some internal uh, 
uh, dimensions that needs to be assigned. So if we uh, say we have uh, some features, something like this on the drawing sheet. So the uh, shorter dimension would be, uh, you know, assigned, let's say here, but the uh, longer dimension cannot be uh, assigned closer to the edge of the part than the shorter dimension. You know, basically that's the idea here. Again, we cannot use the dimensions within the cutouts. Uh, so try to place the dimensions outside uh, the cutout uh, and also use the extension lines for that purpose. To not locate the dimensions too close to the edge of the view. And also we need to avoid using very long extension lines because that may be confused uh, with the part edge. Also, we cannot let any dimensions or views cross uh, the border of the drawing sheet. So these are some of the uh, important, uh, uh, you know, the rules that needs to be followed for uh, creating a neat and organized drawing sheet. Let's take a look at the uh, second example here and figure out how many errors that uh, we can identify in this uh, drawing sheet. So you may want to pause the video at this point and uh, then try to figure out how many errors you can see in the drawing. Okay, so if you were able to identify at least six errors, uh, then you know, you know what kind of drawing that you should be creating. Um, let me just uh, point it out uh, what kind of errors which are uh, apparent uh, here. The dimensions are crossing the margin. The dimensions are provided in the cutouts. Uh, again, the longer dimensions are placed uh, closer than the shorter dimensions to the part. So that's the error number three. Um, again, uh, the center lines are uh, missing. Here, that's error number four. The hidden lines are missing here. In the right view, that's error number five. Um, it says A1 and C1, but B1 is missing, and also its uh, description is also missing here. Um, again, these dimensions are too close to the edge of the part. So these are some of the errors that uh, you know we can identify uh, in a drawing sheet and try not to make these sort of mistakes. That is about the dimensions and uh, in the next video we will talk about the tolerances.